Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're actually in Matthew's room. I actually posted a picture on my Instagram story and asked if you wanted to see Matthew's bedroom tour and I got a whole bunch of likes. So here's the long awaited Matthew's toddler room tour. It has taken a little longer than expected just because I put a lot of thought into what's going in here and I wanted everything to be budget friendly as well so I don't want to splurge major on his room just because he is only two years old. So I hope you guys enjoyed this room tour. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I have more bedroom tours coming up in the near future. So without further ado, here is Matthew's toddler room tour. Alright guys, so I'm going to start off with this little door hanger that he has. We picked it up at Hobby Lobby. Mia actually was the one that chose this one for him. It says boys only. I liked the idea of having a door hanger not only because it looks cute but just to take like some safety precaution. He does sleep by himself in his bed and sometimes he will get up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom or if he has a nightmare and just so that he won't go down the stairs without us noticing. We put this here intentionally because it does make a sound like that little sound there so as soon as we hear that we know that he's up and we'll go grab him before he even reaches the stairs so I thought it was a super cute door hanger but at the same time we're just taking some safety measures just in case he does decide to go downstairs without us noticing all right so here's a little overview of his entire bedroom first now just a little FYI I am not completely done so I guess I'll start off by talking about that the dresser the reason why I say I'm not done is because I'm not happy with this dresser at all. This was actually Mia's dresser from her crib. She's now seven. Her crib got passed down to Matthew and Matthew obviously is no longer using his crib but we still have the dresser that went with it. Um, I don't like this really dark color anymore. I like more of like the woodsy tones like this. So we had found a dresser at Home Goods. But because I like to be sure about things before I buy them. So we came home to see if, you know, it would look good in this room or whatnot. So I'm like, you know what? It's going to look great. When I went back to go get it the next day, it was gone. And I haven't found it since, so I've been on the hunt for that. So eventually, this will not be here. It's going to be more of like a wood tone dresser. And the one in specific that I'm looking at has like three drawers on one side and then a barn door on the other with like shelves. So that's the one I'm looking for and it's actually a lot smaller than this so it won't take up so much space. So anyways, this dresser will not be here um, because I plan to uh, get rid of this one. And I used to have his diapers in this little caddy over here but I am so happy because he no longer wears diapers. We started potty training him during Christmas break and it only took two days two really rough days but he's got it down pat and that's it he's completely potty trained i'm super excited so the next thing in this area are the curtains the curtains are from pottery barn and they're actually blackout curtains so if i close it it'll be really nice and dark in here um on this side i have a teepee and this one is from target and then in there he just has a little tiger that like moves and roars he loves to get in here. They play hide and seek, him and his sister. They also like to read books in there, so I thought it was great that I ended up getting the teepee because they absolutely love it. The biggest toy he has in his room, which is this Hot Wheel garage, he loves playing with this. Another thing, once I get the new dresser, it will not go underneath the window. It will go on this side and then I'll put that underneath the window. Moving on to his bed area. So the bed frame is from City Furniture but Wayfair and Amazon have a few similar that I'll try to link down below. Um, the nightstands are from Home Goods, and I think I paid like $70 for each of them. I think they're super cute and exactly what I was looking for. It has that underneath shelf so I can put some like a basket in there with maybe some toys. It has this drawer over here. Right now it's empty um, and I like that it doesn't look perfect you know like even the texture just feels like very uh like reclaimed wood style and then the plant the plant i was looking for a faux plant for his room but i didn't want it to look girly i wanted something to look a little bit more masculine and this one was perfect because it's in a black vase and then it has this gold little strip down here which totally goes with some of the accents in his room which i'll show you right now but um, I just think this looks very masculine, not girly at all. And this one I picked up at Home Goods for like 
This little horse right here was a hand-me-down from my nephew. It went on to Mia, and from Mia, it went on to Matthew. He no longer uses it, so right now it's just as a little decoration here in the corner. Moving on to his bedding, the bedding is actually from Target, and then it has like a tribal print. It's super soft, and it's a quilt material, so it's not super heavy. We ended up switching it out to this one because we used to have like a navy uh, plaid one. However, um, it was very thick, and because we're in the middle of potty training him, if he had an accident, the comforter wasn't going to be able to fit in my washer machine because it's not so big. So we ended up switching it to this one and I actually really, really like it. This orange pillow right here is from Home Goods, and I like that little wood button. I think that's what attracted me the most. And then this little bear here is from Target. As for all of these frames up here, I did get them at Hobby Lobby when they were like at 50% off. So if you're interested in any of these frames, I recommend you wait till they go on sale for 50% off because then you can fill up a whole wall just like how I did. The only thing that's not from Hobby Lobby is the gold M that I have right here. That one's actually from the Land of Nod. However, I know that they sold the Land of Nod to Crate and Barrel. But basically for this wall, I wanted a mix of fabric, of wood, of metals. So I was able to pick up each of those because I just feel like they complement each other very well. And if you're interested on how exactly we created this, then you can head on over to my blog. I have a complete blog post on this. I will leave that blog post linked below in the description box as well. So on the next side table, I have this little sign that says adventure. Ideally, I would want a little lamp here. I want a lamp that incorporates some of the black from the vase that I have on that side. Um, I found one in Target and again, I didn't get it. So when I went back, it was all sold out, so I'm going to see if I find it online, but it's sort of like a round black marble ball with like an ivory lampshade, so I think it'll go perfect on this side because he really does need a lamp. And then on this side, we just have some of his stuffed animals in this metal basket. This is from Target. So pretty much we're done with like the bulk of his room. Now moving on to this section. This is also something that used to be ours from like our very first apartment. Um, years ago and back in the day this like espresso wood color was super popular so we had almost all our house with dark furniture like this but the styles changed so now I'm more into the lighter wood this is just way too dark but for now it does and even when we get the new dresser I think I'll still leave it in here but it's this little ladder shelf um, I got it at the container store I'm not sure if I already said that but we got it there and here's where I put all of his books, some toys and this little basket over here. This little M is from Hobby Lobby. This frame is Hobby Lobby. This my dad gave it to me. Um, this is from the Willow Tree, I believe. Yes, the Willow Tree. Um, and then we just have this little note over here. It was like handmade from when we presented him at church. And then we have a random car over here. My husband loves to collect like these little cars. We have boxes and boxes full of them. Ever since he was young, he would collect them. So now he's starting to collect some for Matthew. So we just have that one up there. And now if you're wondering where are all of his toys, I'm about to show you right now. So he is very lucky. He has a walk-in closet. So all of his toys are stored in here. I have a video on how I store my kids toys so I'll link that one down below as well but here's where we keep the majority of all of his toys we got his trucks over here we got more trucks and cars um, more books over there and he just has some more room to grow over here before Christmas we went through like a huge declutter and we took out all of his baby toys that he wasn't playing with anymore so we put this IKEA shelf in here Anyways, that video will explain a lot more, so I will leave a link below. This is his laundry hamper. It says adventure and with his little teepee. This he's had since he was a baby, and we picked this one up at Marshall's. And then here are these little clear bins where we just keep his hats and like accessories. And there's just like more room to grow because again, we went through a major declutter. And then his shoes are just stored here in this top shelf, his clothes. And then over here is just random hand-me-down clothing that doesn't fit him yet. 
Um, there's probably like more cars in there, his humidifier. But overall, I really like the way his closet turned out as well. The last thing I'm gonna mention is his light fixture. This one's from Party Barn Kids. I absolutely love it because it has that gold metal just like that letter that he has here on this wall. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll try to link as many things as possible down below in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe because I have more bedroom tours coming up in the near future, including Mia's bedroom and my master bedroom. All right, guys, till next time. Bye. Bye.